Hi, my name is Aaron, and this is my Sliver Queen deck. So this is my Sliver Queen Commander deck. We play a lot of Commander at Wizards of the Coast, uh, and because I'm at least part Johnny, I'm always looking for some new way to make a deck that no one else has done. Uh, there's plenty of five-color Sliver decks out there. Most of them use Sliver Overlord, Sliver Legion. So I went with Sliver Queen mostly because this is a, a, a combo deck in some ways, and it's an Enchantress deck in, in, in other ways. Uh, and Silver Queen gave me access to all the cards I need, plus is a combo piece herself. Um, my land base is really bizarre. Uh, that's part of the challenge for me, uh, is to make this deck work. I've got all ten uh, fetch lands, the five Onslaught ones and the five Zendikar ones, and then the two uh, Terramorphic Expanse variants. Um, and then after that, my land is all basics. Uh, a bunch of forests and a bunch of islands, and a few plains, and then two swamps, and two mountains, and we'll get to exactly what's going on with that here in a second. Um, then I have some non-land mana fixing. Uh, Dawn's Reflection, Fertile Ground, Harrow, those all get me the colors I need, STE is very powerful, Rampant Growth, Lay of the Land, Land Tax, very good in multiplayer, Solemn Simulacrum, one of the three cards I put in every commander deck, it's this one. Uh, Soul Ring, well, I guess Lightning Greaves isn't in this deck, so there's only two. This one and Soul Ring go in every deck. Wayfarer's Bobble, the Kite. Here's Soul Ring. Um, not too many artifacts. And here's what's going on here. I've got Destructive Flow, Back to Basics, and Energy Flux. And these three cards give tons of decks fits. And to the point where people get angry that I'm playing non-basic land hate this powerful, but I always say, look, I'm playing a five-color deck, and I've got non-basic land hate. What, what's your problem? Uh, you know, it, it tries to... Uh, get people off my back, they still don't like it, but it makes the deck very challenging and at the same time very powerful. Uh, here's the Enchantress Suite, because a lot of what I'm doing is en enchantment based. Argothian, Verdurin, Mesa, and Enchantress's Presence are the ones that keep drawing me cards. Academy Rector, powerful tutor for enchantments. Then we got Monk Idealist and the Oromancer, which are both Eternal Witness variants for enchantments. A very powerful Replenish, for when people inevitably destroy everything you have, you can get it all back with Replenish. Same thing with Open the Vault, so you have to be careful because this this one does get all your opponent's stuff back as well. Uh, I've got two kind of win the game combos in here. Earthcraft, Squirrel Nest, uh, makes a million tokens and can attack everyone for lethal on the following turn. Uh, I've heard talk that Earthcraft is so powerful that it should be banned, although I don't see a lot of people using it. And then Mana Echoes is a two card combo with Sliver Queen, uh, in that you pay two to make a sliver, which then gives you uh, two mana when it comes into play, one for each creature that shares a type with it, so you get one for the queen, one for the token itself, and from there you make infinite slivers. So both combos involve making infinite one ones and attacking. I've got a bunch of propaganda effects, which are great for keeping people off my back as I get my mana put together. Collective Restraint, Seriously Prison, Propaganda, and Teferi's Moat. I've got a few control magics for other people's powerful creatures. Treachery, Take Possession, Control Magic, Confiscate. Biting Tether. Debtor's Knell. Obviously everyone knows this one's very powerful in Commander. Necrogenesis, another source of tokens and can take care of some graveyard shenanigans. Uh, there's a bunch of cards you need to play if you're playing an enchantment deck. Enlightened Tutor, Sterling Grove, Idyllic Tutor. Uh, Zor is very, very powerful, tutoring up all those hate cards that I showed at the beginning. Uh, Wild Research is very fun, kind of random, but uh, a constant source of tutoring. Copy enchantment for doubling up on any of these effects. Sigil of the Empty Throne, which gives me another way to kill people by making a 4 4 angel every time I cast an enchantment. Uh, Deed is the best enchantment based removal there is. Uh, Seal of Doom uh, kind of keeps people from attacking you and it's also fun to recurse and kill some stuff. Uh, Armadillo Cloak, I usually put on someone else's creature. It kind of plays like the vows from the commander set where somebody will start attacking someone else and I'll start gaining life, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Face Fetters, O-Ring, Forced Worships, it's kind of weak, but the fact that I can bounce it back to my hand and recast it um, to draw more cards off my Enchantresses makes it at least a reasonable uh, Pacifism variant to play in this deck. Seal of Primordium and Aura of Silence. I probably should have a Seal of Cleansing, I actually thought I did, but I'll have to go find room for that. Copy Artifact, 
uh, mostly for other people's stuff. Uh, Sylvan, kind of a no-brainer in this format. You should always pay the life. It's ridiculous. The ancestral recall every turn with a, in a 40 life format. Uh, just put this in, haven't ever drawn it yet. It's mostly to hose other people's generals, kind of a jerk card. Hallowed Burial, another anti-general card. Uh, then my creature, the rest of my creatures are kind of an oddball assortment. A lot of them are just regrowing stuff out of the graveyard. E Eternal Witness, Sun Titan, a lot of the, the hosers I'm trying to get cost three or less. Uh, and just because I like these two guys, I have Etched Oracle and Etched Monstrosity. Um, they're fun in, in five color decks and they're good sources of card advantage. And then here, the last card is my one sliver. Uh, it's cool because Silver Queen makes tokens, so you basically have five mana Vindicate, uh, re recursive use for that, um, and you can get him back with Sun Titan and stuff like that. And hey, you know, I gotta make at least some nod to the fact that the, the Silver Queen's my general. So there it is. It's, uh, it's, it can be a frustrating deck to play sometimes. When I give it to someone else to use for the first time, they just don't understand what's going on, why the mana's so bad, uh, but then it all comes together, and, they, and it's pretty enjoyable for being a, a, essentially a griefer deck. Um, you know, as long as you're allowed to win with infinite combos in this format, then uh, people are going to do it. Uh, I like to do my little little bit of style. Uh, so far, I haven't annoyed too many people with this. And there you go. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.